Hi guys, this is a quick video um, just sort of showing a really unexpected um, wildlife encounter I had um, a couple of weeks ago. So um, I was on holiday, just a, a simple beach holiday in Portugal on the Algarve with my wife and um, I took a camera but I just took my vlogging camera, so a small camera and a couple of lenses. I didn't have any wildlife lenses, I just had a 70-200 um, a millimetre lens in an 18 to 55 and um, I wasn't expecting to take a lot of pictures but I know the coast of the Algarve is nice and I thought I'd uh, take a camera with me just in case. Now as it turns out I didn't take any landscape shots um, but I did have an unbelievably interesting wildlife encounter and what happened was this, uh, there were loads and loads and loads of house martins uh, just flying around the hotel or the apartments we were staying at and uh, they were, you know, on the wing, catching flies uh, and other insects. And what I didn't know at the time is, um, at the back of the hotel, there was an unbelievable amount of nests. And uh, we walked um, to the back of the hotel um, one afternoon for some reason. And um, there were rows and rows and rows of house martin nests uh, built onto the, uh, the apartment. And it was fantastic. Now, house martins, they like to sort of build under eaves or, uh, you know, uh, overhangs and stuff like that. And there were lots of, uh, you know, open corridors at the back of these apartments. And the uh, house martins have uh, built all their nests there. And I think, judging by what, you know, some of the staff were saying, they come back year on year on year and they're welcomed back by this complex. So it was brilliant. And um, so for a couple of afternoons, it didn't, you know, I didn't spend ages because it was just a beach holiday, you know, one of those sort of just get away because, you know, we've not been able to travel for three years. Um, but I spent, I set a tripod up and I got some lovely footage of um, the house martins coming in to feed their young. I got some stills and it was brilliant. It was just such an unexpected wildlife encounter. So I thought, you know, I would share that with you guys because uh, it was it was quite magical, actually. So um, as you can see, house martins, um, they communally nest, so they build nests together. And, um, you know, I filmed probably areas that there were four, five, six nests in a, in a row. But you can, in some cases, see up to 30 nests. So, you know, they're quite sociable nesters, house martins. And um, they're uh, summer migrants, so they spend the winter or most of their lives in Africa, a sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, they come back to Europe for the, uh, you know, late spring, summer to uh, bring up their young. So they're a fantastic sort of visitor to our shores, in this case uh, Portugal shores, uh, for the summer months. Um, now the females lay four to five eggs and uh, they incubate those eggs for about two weeks I think and it's mainly the females uh, that incubates the eggs and then both parents will feed the chicks for about a week and then after that week they're on their own. And of course uh, they'll all make the journey back to um, sub-Saharan Africa uh, once the, uh, the summer's over. Now the nests, as you can see, an unbelievable work of art and they're made of mud um, and it takes around about a thousand big sized pellets of, of moist mud to build these uh, nests up and if you look closely you can see the actual entrance hole is really small and this is to deter other birds using uh, the San Martin's nests um, and they will often use um, nests from the year before and just do a repair job because a lot of effort goes into making these nests but they're fantastic little birds um, a bit like, you know, they're obviously a, a small version of um, swallows. They look like swallows, swifts, uh, sand martins. They're all, you know, sort of the same type of bird. Uh, but they, they're very tiny, uh, black sort of upper parts, white underbodies, and they're fantastic flyers. They're like little sort of fighter planes swooping through the air, um, gathering up insects on the wing. House martins can have two or three broods uh, during the, uh, the breeding season and you often find that the youngsters from the first brood end up helping to feed uh, the youngsters on the third brood. So there's quite tight uh, family bonds here. But even so, their numbers are dropping and um, it's thought there's a number of reasons uh, for this. And one of the reasons is habitat loss, both in Europe and in Africa. So in Europe it's a loss of breeding sites. And in Africa, just general habitat loss, actually. And then um, this happens at uh, various times uh, over the course of the decades. But, you know, if you've got a really bad set of weather conditions uh, when they're migrating, that can also have an effect on numbers. And, but I think one of the biggest reasons is the decline in insects, uh, particularly in the UK. If there are less prey items around, then there's less food for the youngsters to be fed. So 
the breeding success is going to be less. So, you know, it's a real shame that the numbers of house martins are dropping because they are a fantastic sight in our skies, aren't they? I love the sight of house martins, of swifts, of swallows, of sand martins, and, you know, our skies would be a really poor place without these birds. So let's hope that, you know, conservation efforts and uh, there's a general bounce back in the populations of these birds because I think they're marvellous birds and um, I'm really pleased to be able to show you this footage and these stills. So, yeah, just before I go, if you have enjoyed this video, if you can give it a like, that would be great. Uh, giving it a like is one of the best ways you can help my channel. It's a, It really helps to push uh, the video up over the uh, YouTube algorithms. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you've liked what you've seen, if you can consider subscribing, that would, would be great. And then last but not least, uh, if you do subscribe, press the little bell icon and hopefully you'll be notified when my next video is uploaded. So thanks for watching and listening guys and I'll see you on my next video. So bye for now.